presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Bruce, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Great to be back with you, folks. Rowling and prowling. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions and to be as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 202, NASDAQ off 100, S&P's on 32. Gold, gold contract up $17.50, trading out at 1985 an ounce. We have silver down four cents, $23.05 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up a buck sixty-eight, ninety dollars a barrel. There's ninety ducks at bucks again. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note trading down thirteen ticks at one hundred five fifteen. The thirty-year up a full point plus twelve ticks, trading out at a price point of one hundred seven twenty-nine. And king dollar, king dollar right now trading down three hundred and forty-six ticks at one hundred six two eighteen. Euro at 105, yen trading at 149, British pound trading at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, they're coming into strength. That being said, though, the bottom line is that you are into that bar, so I suspect the bottom of that bar can be game. So when we take a look at this, you get six, 86 million traded out here today, three million, excuse me, on three bucks. And you can see this bar. This bar is a big bar. It's 123. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you come down fast enough into it, that's when I suspect selling will subside. subside. But the bottom line is that you're into it far enough. <coughs> excuse me, folks, that you can go to the bottom of that bar once again. We we'll take a look at the NDX 100. Now, the NDX is leading on the way up, okay? Bottom line is that you can see it actually how it's shaking out here. Now, we're dealing with the same bar, but you are dealing that the NDX, the three Qs, also want to go to the bottom of that bar. This is the October 6th bar because you're already halfway into it. You know, you're, you're at a higher price. Well, you're at a higher chart level, let's put it that way. But that being said, it still wants to go to the bottom of it. Now, and what's also happening inside the queues, the queues are accelerating with volume. Right now, we're going to go into 75 million. Yesterday, we did 54, and you're already at 57. So this thing is whacking right into it. And coming into a Friday, it could be pretty cool because the, the reality is, is that my jam all the way right down into it. And that's what you'd like to see if you want a rejection of lower price. If you go sideways, that's building cause. If you go fast enough down or fast enough up, that's when you can get a change in the marketplace. Now, 10-year. Let's go take a look at the 10-year here because this is not stopping. That's the bottom line. We're at 4.979 right now. And the 10-year got to 105.10 today, and we're at 105.15. It's hanging there, man. So let me put the volume on here. Whoops. There we go. So.
So, yeah, you still get 2 million, 2.1 million. That's a lot. It's still a lot. Yesterday, yeah, you did 1.9, 2.1. And if I go to the generic chart, take a look at this because we were at the, we were at, we know we're coming into a, a huge amount of support. We were at the top of that before I left. And I suspect we're coming slowly but surely down to the bottom of that. So I got to bring this back 20 years. Yeah, so here it is right here. Well, we can go a lot lower. 104.14. 104.04 is the number. Well, it's already done. It's already broken where we had traded for seven or eight months. It did that three days ago. No, 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 two months ago. Um, hey, we'll see where this shakes out. But it looks like that 104.10 actually could be game. Uh, gold goes off on its own. I mean, you know, bottom line is that we've had a couple of great signs of strength. That people are buying gold, man. That's the bottom line. You know, we get 200. And this is good contract volume out here today, man. You get 241, 42,000 contracts. And yesterday you had uh, 270. You're taking the swing point out. The swing point only had uh, 165. No, one. 116. So you're taking that out like in a, a heartbeat. And the way this is set up, you can see the way this is set up, that we have 2128 coming, out, coming at us. That's, that's a big number, 2128. There's no doubt about that. That's up to the whole other side. And then if we go into the good old dollar, what you're going to see with the dollar is the bottom line is that, now you don't have that correlation out here today, that's for sure. You get a lower dollar and you get a lower market. But this was quite a run, man. And particularly what was amazing about it was the one day that it got back over its channel line because that was a huge day of strength and then it kind of just has been drifting sideways for five days but i suspect that this is it the reason i'm saying that this is it is that that day of strength was pretty amazing then we got above it the next day and we just gave it up in spades so now what we're doing we're building cars to get to lower price so we'll see where the whole thing shakes out but it looks to me like with, when you take a look at the broader market that the S&P is actually just going to come back and test the bottom of the consolidation again. If it does get down there tomorrow, I suspect we'll get a rejection. Because, you know, you get two or three days coming down fast and furious. That's what it takes, you know, simultaneously to get the selling over with. Dow, Dow Industrials are down 225, Nasdaq's up 117, S&P's off 36. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow investors right now down 239 to get the Nasdaq off 117. S&Ps are off 36. We had Powell out there speaking at the uh, New York Economic Conference out here today, folks. And then he had a sit down with David Weston. So it was pretty intriguing that, uh, I mean, what the market got out of it and, you know, kind of what he said uh, is that he doesn't think that the Fed is at restrictive levels just yet. <laughs> well, he, he, he really, he gave the market something with one hand, okay? Saying that, you know, things are getting there. Then he took it away with the other hand, okay? Meaning when he came across with that, well, I don't think it's restrictive yet. The market didn't like it at all. That's, that's the bottom line. So, you know, we'll see where this whole thing's gonna shake out, but um, the volatility is definitely there. It's definitely there in bonds. There's no doubt about that. I mean, it's a big number. If we look at the, if we look at the let's just look at the, the 10. We know what the 10 is laying at. The 30 is laying at 5.09. And then the, the 2 is at 4.75. The 5 is at 3.9. That gets interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, so... Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach our man, Mr. Tim Ward, every trading day at Ord-Oracle, O-R-D-Oracle.com. -D That's uh, Ord-Oracle.com. Tim Ward, what's going on, brother? Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff going on. I thought expiration week would be an up week and uh, tried to hold on as long as I could, but... Uh, I still think there's nothing real dangerous here going on, but we can start with uh, the S&Ps if you want. Yeah, you sent me a bunch of charts. I love it, man. Okay. It, what, yeah. num what number was the yeah. S&P, Tim? Was it number one? Uh, yeah, I start with number perfect. one. Perfect. Okay, kinda, good. I'm, kinda, no, we're there. Cool, man. Okay. All right. Uh, well, the second window up from the bottom is the 10-day average of the trend. Yep. And I, sh I shaded uh, uh, kind of a pink area when it's – when it's uh, dangerous, I guess you might say, then I shaded the blue area okay. when it's bullish. So when it gets in the pink, uh, you know, 0. 0.9 and below, it can really uh, pick out tops. And all those red lines across that chart, chart goes back, uh, you know, close to a couple of years or whatever. And all those red lines are times when the 10-day uh, trend got to uh, 
0.9 or lower. Okay. And uh, right now we're 0.82. Um, that was yesterday's close. And I, I was watching that, and I'm thinking, well, you got expiration week, which is bullish. Um, so I thought, you know, maybe not all indicators pinpoint the exact top to the exact day all the time. They just give you warnings where a probable high was coming. I thought we may hold up until Thursday or Friday. Then next week we'll be down. Uh, well, that didn't happen. We just we started down yesterday or a couple of days ago, and and we're still going down. Matter of fact, as we're talking here, you know, we got a, uh, a trend reading at point nine eight. You know, still hasn't really reached panic levels, but that was a good tip off. I was, I thought we might you know find support a little bit higher, and well, anyhow, no, uh, no, no let, let's talk. Let's so, talk about so this, Tim. Let's talk about this, because, Go folks, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put all the trend up here on, so you can see exactly what Tim's talking about, because this is really unusual, man. I'm telling you that you get a market that has been coming down, and look at this trend on Monday and Tuesday. Monday was 0 0.40. I got Tim, and I got 0.54 on Tuesday. It's like, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, uh, yeah, I seen that too, and I'm thinking, yeah, I don't like to see that. Right. I tried to uh, hold on to my uh, position. I'm thinking, okay, maybe you know, because you get some weird stuff during option expiration week, which yep. is this week. And uh, I'm thinking, well, I'll, I'll wait for another day. When I blew out yesterday, made a small profit. Right. Um, but it is what it is. So I was trying. Maybe I pushed too a little too hard on this trade, but that's all right. Um, and so, so just. <laughs> folks so we can clarify this right what this 0.54 and 40 means all right that there was no no fear in the marketplace people were buying it man they're buying it handle the fist actually right <laughs> that's yeah that, that's yeah. right that's right. exactly what it means right actually what it, you know, it defines you know uh volume going into the up stocks right so they're buying a lot more up stocks uh, with volume than uh, selling down stocks with volume yeah. so yeah it was a bullish sign everybody um for some reason, uh, got bullish. Maybe, you know, they were looking at, you know, because October, it was March, April, and October are the three best months of the year during expiration week. Or during expiration week. Interesting. So, okay. Uh, so if you go by statistics, you know, the odd, the odds would favor this be an up month like March and April. Yeah. And okay. uh, why those three months are up, don't know, but if you go over time. So, yes. So anyhow, the market was going down. So now, um, uh, actually, so you know, this is bearish as of uh, today. You know, we're around low 80s right now on the 10-day average. To get bullish, this this 10-day trend needs to get up to around 1.2 or higher. Wow. Uh, so, and panic only forms at bottoms, and the trend is one way to define panic is present. Yes. So, uh, so can you turn bullish here? No, nah, it's not a good idea. Right. Not yet. You know, uh, maybe next week, maybe the week after. I don't know. Uh, but um, so, low is low. so, Tim, um, like if we look at the spy right now, too, you know, it's it's into that bar from the, the October 6th, the strength. But more than likely, I mean, it's going to be pretty hard for this to get get over that, you know, the 1.20, probably until you get to the bottom of this consolidation, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm thinking we're going to go to, to 120. Uh, or 420 on the uh, SPYs or uh, right. 4200 on the SPX. Okay, cool. And if that if that area is going to find support, that 10 day trend needs to be up around that 1.2 area. Now, if it's not, then um, you don't do anything until you do find panic. Which is so cool. Uh, that's what makes yeah. that that indicator so cool, right? I mean, it really does. Yeah. Cause, right. Yeah. yeah. So you're not fighting the market. You know, whenever when everybody's you know running for the door. You know, you're you're trying to pick out the best trade you can find, and sure. all that panic is kind of, you know, w w you know how much panic can you get? You know, basically, the the more panic there is, the higher probability you're near the the lowest low. Yes. So, uh, but but don't ever try to buy a market with, or at least on the S and P's or the Nasdaq or whatever. Not uh, this really doesn't apply to the equity market, but. You know, you, you won't find a bottom unless you find panic. Right. And once you find panic, you're looking at the bottom. So um, there's another indicator I wanted to, to, to touch on. Let's go to page two for real quick. Okay. And uh, we talked about this uh, last week, and it, it was a Zwag 
breath thrust indicator, oh, yeah. probably say that 10 times real fast. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. so, but anyhow, it got down to uh, uh, actually the last bottom of the four. 420 area on the S and P's is wag thrust press indicator get down to point four, and I was looking for a sign of strength up to point six uh, to really give confirmation of a bottom, and that had to do that within ten days. Well, the ten day period is today, yes. and obviously we're not going to do it, so we did not get a sign of strength off that 420 area. Yeah, that, I, that, I, mean, I was waiting for that, oh, Tim. As I, it was even on vacation. I said this is going to be cool. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We have the Dow Industrial trading down four, uh, down two forty six. Nasdaq off one twenty eight. S&P's off 39. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Wood, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow. The Dow's uh, trading down to 15. NASDAQ's off 117. S&P's are off 36. Uh, Tim and I were just, uh, Tim's bringing us through the um, Marty Swag, um, basically yeah, ratios. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. And, yeah, you know. I can't say it either. And so, hey, I, for, for, for one second, we were talking about pay, or, uh, page one. Let's yeah. flip to page th uh, chart three real quick. Okay, cool. Page one, right? Chart three, yep. Or, yeah, well, oh. well, no, to three? chart three. 
Okay, I'm, I'm there. Yep. All right. So, you know, this is basically chart or chart one taken down into a smaller time frame because so you can see what really was kind of going on. Okay. And uh, the bottom window is that 10 day trend. And I, I got a, a pink area I, I drew up when the, that I trend got down around 1.2. Right. And showed where that picked that bottom out. It wasn't exactly perfect, but, you know, it's good. Sure. And so now, uh, yesterday we're at about point eight two on the ten day, and so I, I, my scenario is, you know, the trend has to get back to one point two or in that vicinity, and I'm thinking that's going to happen when the S and P's, which is the top window, yes, of the uh, goes down to around that four twenty area, okay. and normally when you get start to get panic in an area. Next time around, you usually get panic in the area. And we did have some panic there. I, I wrote it down, the trend. Uh, all the stuff in blue there, the trend clothes uh, are in blue, and the tick clothes are in yep. blue when they reach panic areas. And we did have panic areas between, looks like, about 420 to 425 range. All right. So, so we had it once, and normally when you go back down to it, you'll get it again. Uh, so we'll have to see if that happens. If it does happen... Then uh, I'm back, you know, looking for a low in that vicinity. So, sure. uh, you know, that's going to be my setup, whatever happens uh, in that 420 range. So if you don't get panic in the ticks and trend, you wait. Yeah, and now you, you wait Tim, until you do get it. This is so, where this gets real interesting because if we don't get panic at that level, well, your next level is down to 403, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you, the market will go until it gets panic. Right. Uh, right. So, and I've seen it before, but actually it, it goes down, panic doesn't happen, market takes a, a kind of a bounce and goes back down to that same level again, then you get panic and it goes. I've seen the time frames, uh, sometimes it's not right for a time frame, even though the price I may see. be. I see. Cool. And, and I see. And I've seen other times where the price is, you know, the first time down. And with, so anyhow, I don't know how all that's going to develop. I don't have a crystal ball. But all I know is to get to get near a bottom, you got to have panic. And so right. that's what we're going to be looking for in this next um, nice next pullback. Uh, you want to go back to the swag thing there? Yep, absolutely. Here we go. Good. We're good. Yep. All right. So we're back to the swag. And the uh, red lines are when the swag breath thrust indicator hit below 0.4 then the blue line is when the bike thrust indicator hit 0.6 and it happened within 10 days right so that's the parameters you got to have for the brag thrust uh, breath thrust indicator to trigger and for a brag thrust indicator to trigger what that is says you're forming a low so you got panic on the downside and you got sinus strength to the upside so if you don't have the sinus strength to the upside it's not a bottom yet. So that's what this indicator is really good for. So you got to have a selling climax and you got to have a buying climax. So, uh, so, so if you get a selling that, climax, if you don't get a buying climax, you're going to have another selling climax. The, perfect. So, that was going to be my question, right? So now we start all over again. So now we need a selling climax. Then we right. we go for the, well, it's a selling climax, then what, then a sign of strength, then the number goes up within 10 days of that first sign of strength. Is that it? Or just... Well, you get like a. Well, sometimes you get, you know, I can't quite read it. the Zwag breast stress indicator as of yesterday's close came in at 0.42. Yep. So most likely we're we're reaching the panic level on on at least the 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 Zwag breast stress indicator probably today. Anything below 0.4 is where that indicator needs to be to get the sign of weakness or I get selling it. climax. Okay. Yep. And so that's developing right now. But it can stay below point four for, you know, several days. Sure. You know, if you're looking back. Oh no, there, I can, get that. <laughs> yeah, so it can stay there. So I can start to count when it starts going up and keeps going up. Right. So it can stay stay down there below point four, you know, maybe for two, three, four days, whatever it is. Then once it starts going up, that's where I start the ten day count from. Okay, cool. So yep. Uh, so anyhow, so probably the, the brag thrust indicator is going to hit. You know, my opinion, probably point four lower today. But if you go, you know, on chart three, you know, we need the ten day trend to get up to one point two. Yes, so which we're a long way from that. Tr 
Yeah, yeah, we're a long ways from it, so I'd be I'd be not in any hurry to uh, to get. It. So you know, so the brag thrust. So say we do we get the uh, one point two on the ten day trend, and we get the, down to four twenty, and the market rallies. On that market rally, that brag thrust indicator needs to get point to point six in ten days. If it doesn't, we're going to go back down again <laughs> until we do. So I love it. Um, you, you, see, you see how I'm talking about? No, I listen, uh, man. I love the conversation. I think it's 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 great information because the market folks is always releasing information, and Tim just looks at the market in a different way. And so it's beautiful when you can look at this information, particularly because now when you look at the the ten day arms, you know this next level down, folks. Okay, yes, it held the last time we're here, but if in fact that arms still stays low because keep up, people keep buying, well, the bottom line is that means you can bust it apart. That's one scenario. The second scenario would be that you know you get the fear that's coming in, the, the arms blows out, and then good, then you got a trade. You know, so it's yeah. really cool all around, Tim. You know, it really is. Yeah. And so, so anyway, the brag for us is, is good. Once we get the rally going, if we get a sign of strength. And if you notice with sign of strength, a lot of times there's like a short-term pullback, too. Sometimes you get yes. a pullback, sometimes you don't. Right. As long as you get a brag thrust indicator, you know, bullish sign, chances are that you're, you're changing to an intermediate-term rally. Yes. And uh, so that's what we're looking for. So uh, it's not a day trade. You know, you ideally you'd like to get on a trade, and hopefully it's up every day, day after you buy it for the next five, six months. That ain't going to happen, but right. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm looking for the intermediate term. But if you look at that last tr uh, on the uh, on his wag breast thrust indicator during that bottom process from April of 2022 to April of 2023, we had three uh, wag breast thrust uh, indicators at that low, all approximately in the same location. Wow! So that was a good sign that intermediate term rally is starting. So that's the reason why I'm kind of a little bit more bullish on the bigger time frames because I think this market on that base period for the whole year has run its course to the upside. Yes. So I'm thinking the intermediate term trend is basically still up. That's how I'm looking at it. Yeah, well, so, and, we're, and we're not down that far. I mean, that's, that's the reality also. No, yeah. It looks like an ABC down to me. So. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. And don't forget, you can get a hold of Tim every trading day, folks, at Ord, O R D hyphen oracle.com that's odd hyphen oracle.com tim and i are coming right back we have the dow industrials trading down 204 nasdaq's off 109 s&p's off 32 come right back folks If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. It's Tim Oy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow up at 261, down 261, NASDAQ off 132, S&P's off 40. Okay, Tim, which chart would you like to go to? Let's go to four, chart okay. number four. Yep. And... And anyhow, uh, this chart goes back to 1984. I think we talked about it once before. Yes. And the middle window is the monthly XAU gold ratio. Right. Uh, so it compares the, the stocks against the gold. So it's a monthly it's a monthly time frame. So this is a big picture. And the bottom window is the flow stochastics of that XAU gold ratio. So... And I've been kind of bullish. I, I think a major low, uh, the last time uh, the signal comes when the slow stochastics of this ratio uh, goes below 10 and turns up. And I mark those all the times with uh, in blue lines there where those signals come. And right above the slow stochastic is the uh, XAU uh, index. So yes. you can see where the index were triggered uh, when they were triggered. And the last time this thing was triggered was August of last year. Now, the market uh, has gone up a little bit, and I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I'm not an expert of Elliott Wave, could never make a lot of sense out of it, but, you know, there is some aspects that are pretty good. But it's probably it picked out the leg one up and went into a high here whenever it was, and we've been kind of retracing. I think it's probably... Elliott Wave 2 down, but in my opinion, we're, we're going to make a higher low, so the next leg up is probably going to be a 3, but I think the major low was made last year in August of, of 2022. Well, the market the, the, has started an yeah. uptrend from there. And, and, the so, gold, and the gold contract, I mean, since up in a way, I mean, you, you get some huge signs of strength in here, right? I mean, you know, yeah. we just came yeah, out of nowhere, yeah. up 50 bucks with volume, up 40 bucks with volume, do you know what I mean? That, yeah. yeah. So so I'm only thinking, you know, we're going down. We're not in a bear market anymore. I think we're in a bull market, and it's been in a bull market since August of last year. Yes. If the top window is gold, and you can see where that blue line hit that bottom pretty good, and gold had a, you know, went back and tested its old highs and barely has retraced any. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm thinking that we're in a bull market, so... The only thing we're screwing around now is the shorter-term time frames. And uh, momentum rules quite a bit of different things. So anyhow, uh, the, we'll go to chart five. Okay. And uh, I thought we hit a, a decent low back in August. And we went a, bit, a, little, a little bit lower low uh, into this October low. And I pointed out uh, the bottom window is a GDX up-down volume percent with an 18-day average. The next higher window is GDX advanced decline percent with an 18-day average. And we talked about it on your show that, you know, the GDX, which is the top window, made lower lows, and both those indicators made higher lows. Yes. Uh, so to me, that was a, a, a bullish divergence. And I thought we were at August lows. I thought that was a low. Well, it didn't. We, it, you know, we tumbled down. And... Um, and now, you know, we came off this last low like crazy. And I put in my, I think we even talked on your show that everybody was calling me that, 
right. you know, that's right. how bad it is and stuff. So I went and bought options, and right. uh, I bought those options on September 28th, uh, you know, about a day or two right before the actual bottom bottom. Uh, so I still got those options. Um, you know, when I'm going to sell them, I, I guess I'll be watching both those indicators on the bottom if they you know, they close below minus 10, I'm, I'm definitely out. Yes. But if they get up to, you know, extremely high levels, you know, you know, plus 40 range, you know, a lot of times that's kind of like a sign of strength that couldn't get any stronger. Okay. I may sell it then. But right now, even though we'll be kind of, kind of consolidating here, we're hitting up against the 30 range on GDX, which is some previous highs there. Yeah. So I've still got those options. I'm up a couple hundred percent, but... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, you know, is this a good place to sell it, get back in a little bit later? I don't know. Uh, but, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, it's always great in the gold market, Tim. Think about how many times, I know how many times I get calls. You know, you sell it. What happens, folks, you sell it because you made money. And as soon as you sell it, you want to get back in. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Yeah. So, oh yeah, but, yeah this is a daily. Uh, so the dailies are bullish because... Uh, both, you know, those two indicators are above minus 10 and then general trending higher. So let's flip to the next chart. Okay, I have it. Uh, which is the weekly. Yep. And what I found out when the weeklies, either one of those, the, the bottom window is the uh, advanced decline for GDX, but it's accumulative. So it just adds on to what, you know, adds on itself. So it's a little bit different than a moving average. And the next higher window up is, is up, down, volume, accumulative, and same kind of thing. Okay. And it, it it works pretty good. When either one of them, you know, closes above or below the Bollinger Band, doesn't have, you know, either one, it's a signal. So sometimes you'll get one close above the other, or other one. And right now, uh, two days ago, both of them were above the mid Bollinger Band. As of I did this, just one of them above the mid Bollinger Band. But either way, that's a signal. Okay. But the need to hold above. This is a weekly chart. So on Friday tomorrow, uh, if either one of them are above the mid Bollinger Band, it's a buy signal on a weekly time frame. All right. If you notice, that these signals uh, can last anywhere from you know a month or two uh, to six months. Yes. Because the last signal is generated was in April, and it's just now uh, teetering around on a buy signal. So April to now is at wow. uh, about six months. So that was a six-month decline it caught, um, yep. and, uh, and, these, and they stayed below the Bollinger Band. So uh, so can it last another six months? Um, you know, I, I'm thinking you know these signals could, uh, you know, this is a pretty good indicator to catch a trend. Right. And... Uh, yeah. So it's, it's something if you're an option player, you know, you you got a window of, of I don't know, two months to six months. This is an indicator good for that. It's a big number. So, yeah, it's a big number. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, right? it's yeah. a big number. Okay, it's, I know we don't have a lot, a lot of time. We've got one minute left. Yep. And I one. want to go to chart seven. There we go. I have it. All right. So we looked at the daily, and we looked at the weekly, and now this is a a, a monthly momentum indicator. I'm still using the uh, up, uh, up down volume indicator, which is the top window. I'm yes. using a cumulative up down volume, and the bottom window is a cumulative advanced decline, but it's on a monthly time frame. Right. So, so these ones, when they give a signal, they, you know, it's like a two year signal. It's a big and signal. The last yeah. signal we got was was in, you know, looks like about January 2021. And it showed in the middle window is a GDX, so it didn't pick out the top, but it, it's looking at a real big time frame. Yes. And so far, we haven't, you know, closed above. We kind of screwed around with it back in. I'm with you. I can uh, see that. We're not yeah. above it yet. And this is the middle. He's looking for the, the middle Bollinger Band there, folks, okay? When you take right. a look yeah, at that. Yeah, the mid Bollinger yeah. Band. Right now, both of them are below it, but, the, you know, this signal will be a little late. Yes. But once it, it turns... It usually stays on that. It doesn't whip around, right? And it'll stay on that signal for months. Uh, if you go, you know, if you look back, it gave a signal back in the 2012 top, and never gave a buy signal until 2016. Wow. So, 
So this is a good indicator to pay on the bigger time frame. No doubt. Well, listen, Tim, it's always a great education. You have a great weekend, safe weekend. We look forward to speaking to you on this coming Tuesday. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Says Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 224. You get the NASDAQ off 114. S&Ps are off 34. MRVL. Let's take a look at Marvell Technologies, one of the targets out here. So the low is 33, the high is 67. They come out with the numbers on December 1st, and they're going to be looking for, let's see what we got here. They're going to be looking for $1.4 billion on the top line and $0.40 cents down below. So if we take a look at this baby, well, I wouldn't be touching this yet. One second. So you can see this whole gap's not filled yet. Yeah. This must be from the last earnings call, too. Last earnings call, like it's up to that uh, 55 level. You're trading 50 right now, and this thing can get down to that 45 level on about a heartbeat. Yeah, that's. I wouldn't be touching that right now. It's like, it's, that's that's what the markets love to do, man. Which is a mind blower, but that's exactly what they like to do. Uh, Netflix, uh, that got a little pop out here today because of the subscriber base. You know, the, the headlines is that's up. The, what is the headline? The up, up most it's been in years, and it's like, okay, yeah, I know you're up 15% or 12%, but the bottom line is that you, you're still down off your highs like in a pretty incredible way. Like you're at 402, 
I think the highs are 550 or something. No, 700. <laughs> you know, some of these headlines, folks, are just, a, you know, I love Bloomberg, but it's just a mind blow, man. But sometimes when you see some of these headlines, it's like, and, and it goes both ways, meaning that they'll say a stock's getting actually croaked and, you know, the stock's down a few points. Yeah. So you, you better make sure that you look at, you know, what they're saying in general, okay, uh, before you uh, do anything out here. That's the real bottom line. Um, Inside the Dow Industrials, let's see quickly what is putting strength versus the weakness in them. So inside the Dow out here today, we had the weakness had to do with nothing heavy. Caterpillar minus 42, United Health 29, strength, Salesforce, strength, Big Mac. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks.